everyone, the graph of the quadratic function is shown on the grid and which function best represents this graph. So I picked out the three points. These are our two zeros or our roots here. And uh, my minimum here is 3 comma negative 9 or that's your uh, point there. And what you want to use is this equation here. And R1 and R2 represent your roots or your solutions or your x-intercepts, which are right here. So let's plug those in first. So you have A times x minus 0. And then uh, this one, x minus 6. So that's your standard form. Now we have this additional point we're going to plug in. Um, so we're going to plug in our uh, x and our y and then solve for a. And uh, apparently if you look at the answers, our a should be 1. So let's look and see what happens with that. So we have negative 9 equals a and our x is 3. So plug in 3 minus 0 times 3 minus 6. So we have negative 9 equals a times 3 times um, negative 3. So we have negative 9 equals a times negative 9. Divide both sides by negative 9 and you get a equals 1, which is what we thought. So now that you have that, we know our a is 1 we're going to, so our a is 1, rewrite that as 1, y equals uh, 1, so that's just 1, times x minus 0, I'm looking at this equation, times x minus 6. And that's going to give you y equals x squared minus 6x, which is right there. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Yeah. Weezy,